In the previous video, we discussed how we can perform the data, the steps that we require to collect the data, to process the data, and then again to perform the analysis. Now we will be going through these steps one by one. First of all, we will be going through the archives. Let me just um, so let's search for this particular GRB, GRB 19.1.4C. Okay, so this is the entire circular of detections for the uh, GRB 19.0.1.4C. There are several telescopes and several um, issues of the circular, but what we are interested in is the Fermi GBM detection. This is it. And we can see that the trigger um, name is 19011487.3 and the trigger number is 56919227. So let's search for the GBM burst catalog. And uh, here we open this. We browse this table, and we can just simply uh, put the name GRP nineteen zero one one four eight seven three, and then go down here, and click Start Search. Now, for most of the GRPs or for most of the half provided name, there are several um, entries here. But as we discussed in the last video, if we provide the correct trigger name, it will just give us that data. So we have only one entry at this trigger name that is of this particular GRP. So we'll check this and we will preview and retrieve. Now we can see that these are the products that we will be um, getting if we download this data. This is the quick look light curve file that I was talking about in the last video. So we will select all of these and then we will select tar the selected products. Now we will wait for the archive to tar it for us and then we can just simply download it from here. Save it and the desktop. In the meanwhile, what we can do is we can search for Fermi Lad Data Server. From here, we can download the um, data for the Lad. What we need is first the coordinates, which we can find from the Fermi. Lat detection circular 54.57 and negative 26.99. Let's put them here. Then we need our search radius to be of 30 degrees and the observation date. For the observation date, we can check the MAT time and it will be available in for me GBM catalog. This particular string here, 56919227, is the time of observation for the GBM instrument. Now, what we want is we want the data prior to this time and after this time as well. So, 5000 second plus minus this time. So, it will be 56918722272569197227. Uh, so, let's put that. Here eight seven two nine seven. So select the mat time and the energy range will be from three thirty dmeb to three hundred GeV, and the lab data type will be extended. So let's start the search here. It's telling us to wait a little bit. So let's check the URL and uh, it will refresh it. Sometimes it will give us quickly the results. Sometimes it will not. So let's just copy these commands and. Run it in a terminal. It will take us. It will take some time for it to download the data. 
So let's just wait. Okay. Uh, have you downloaded the GPM data as well as the lag data? Um, we will now move on to the extraction and other processes. Let's extract the GPM data here. Let's delete that. And uh, let's move the lag data from here. Okay. Now, um, in order to see the angular separation, we need to move this data to the Fermi data folder here. We will need to download the lat data from GTBurst from which we can make the XML file and then we will move on from there. So in order to uh, use the GTBurst related to Fermi environment, then we will use the GTBurst command. So let's download the trigger dataset. Browse the triggers. Zero one one four eight seven three done. The lab data we will be downloading should be on the right extension and location that we have already used here. So let's just pick it up. <coughs> and this one. And let's download the lab standard data. We have downloaded the lat data. In the next uh, video, we will see how we can make the XML file, how we can uh, transform the GBM data to usable data as well, and further as we move on. That will be it for this video.